I'm currently the youngest person to do the Adventurous Grand Slam. You climb the tallest mountain on every continent, plus reach the North and South Pole. I skied up into the North Pole freshman year and took a USC sock and I put that at the North Pole. I started doing action sports as well and learned how to skydive, big wave surf, scuba dive, kind of anything I could get my hands on. Being fortunate enough to travel the whole world, you see it from a different perspective and it becomes a lot, a lot smaller. When a genocide happens, like some of the current ones over, for instance, in Africa, and now it's like, oh man, that's my backyard, because that's my home, it's my earth. I knew after climbing Everest I was going to get a bunch of media attention, so I decided they're going to put the cameras on me, I might as well divert the attention to things that are greater than me, such as genocide or Parkinson's disease. So in total, from the Holocaust collection, we have about 105,000 hours of testimony. I got to get a tour of the Shoah Foundation. I feel like the testimonies can be, you know, a wonderful jumping off point, a place to really get students to begin to think about some very important issues. To me, seeing that we have documentation of all these really important parts of history is very important. Stories that might have been forgotten and swept under the rug that are monumental in our history are now here and, and present. Do you guys have to kind of sift through the rhetoric? And I've become obsessed with international relations and how you know foreign policies of other countries affect us and how we can affect them and ultimately make the world a better place. The education that will be provided here through Dornsife will just be building blocks for me for what I hope to accomplish. So I'm, I'm really excited to be here and and get the education, the tools that I need that will really develop me as a person.